Hey y'all, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am doing another in my series that I call Use It or Lose It. What I do with this series is I take makeup that has survived multiple declutters for one reason or another, but I know that I am not using it a ton. So I really want to use this makeup to really make an assessment of like, do I want to keep it in my collection? Do I want to keep using it? Or do I think it would go to a better home? Now, if it has survived declutters, that means that for one reason or another, I love it. But loving makeup in my collection does not equal me using it all the time. Now, sometimes I keep things for collector's sake but a lot of times like I really want my collection to be stuff I'm using stuff that really brings me joy because if it's something I'm not using as much if it's something I think can go to a better home that's what I want for it so I have products today in every single category I might wind up getting rid of all of this that's in front of me right now I might wind up getting rid of none of it. I am really excited though because I haven't done this in so long and as you probably know, I just went through a massive declutter of my entire collection. So if there is stuff still here, this is stuff I very recently saved from decluttering. So I wanna use this and if I'm not loving it, if I'm not feeling like my best, most glamorous Linda self, then I'm passing it on. We are gonna start though with primer. This is something I've only gotten kind of recently, and I know I like it. I know the chances of me decluttering this are approximately zero, but I still need to be using it more. So this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This is an oldie but a goodie, y'all. This is just a very smoothing primer. It is clear. It does feel silicone-y on the face, so I wouldn't say that it necessarily feels hydrating like a lotion or anything like that but it does reduce the appearance of like any big pores that you have i have some massive pores right over here and it just kind of helps to fill those in a tiny bit not fill them in because it's not like your pores are gaping holes in your face but it helps to make my foundation go on smoother like i said there is like zero chance of me getting rid of that but it is something i want to be using more foundation i keep using this and I think I know already that it's something I'm not going to repurchase when it's empty but I keep using it because I don't want to get rid of it because I don't hate it and I don't know if that's a reason to keep a product in your collection or not but this is the Anastasia Luminous Foundation and this is a lighter coverage it does have a luminosity to it and I want to try it again but something I want to try if you could probably tell this is a little bit yellow for my skin tone and it's a little tiny bit too light so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little palette here and I'm gonna put, I don't know, uh, two pumps on this. See, the pump also gets jammed, which I don't love. Not even two pumps. I'm gonna do like a pump and a half because I don't use a lot of foundation. And I'm going to mix in something else that I don't use nearly enough. And this is the Drunk Elephant Debronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops. These, I love to break up a foundation. I'm sorry, to deepen up a foundation if it is too light for you. I have a terrible habit of picking out foundation that is like 18 shades of white when I actually have some sort of skin color. And I'm going to try putting one drop into this whole thing. So you can probably see the colors are drastically different there. Let's see if this kind of helps make this a skin color that I would appreciate more or a uh, foundation color I would use more. See, that still looks quite yellow to me. Mm. I don't know we're gonna start there that already looks like quite a bit of foundation to me and for this i am going to be using where's my good brush there you go i'm using the new singe beauty face brushes i'm still testing these out so far i'm really enjoying them this is the f01 and i'm just going to be using this to blend this on the whole face and i'm kind of staying away from my under eye area like i'm not getting right up under my eyes because i want to leave that for my concealer I mean, I don't know if you can tell, this shade is just like, it's still pretty yellow for me. It is still quite yellow. I usually get a neutral skin tone, but. So that is the coverage on my face and look how much foundation is left. Like that's a pretty significant amount and I don't wanna put it on, no, maybe I will. You know what, I'm gonna take a tiny bit, the tiniest bit, just whatever's left on the brush. And I'm just gonna do my eyelids. I'm still not doing under my eyes, but. This will kind of cancel out any redness on my actual lid. We're gonna make a decision on the at the end about this one, but you guys like, when I see a foundation that is literally called luminous, I expect way more luminosity than this. Like this to me is, I mean, I guess this is natural skin finish. This looks matte to me. I like a luminous, dewy, glowing from the freaking heavens finish. And this does not speak that to me. And I've loved this foundation in like the past, but I don't know, we're, we're gonna see. 
All right, I am using my FO2 brush. This brush is actually really cool. It's like angled and very dense, really good for a concealer. This concealer, I've saved this and I'm not sure why, and this might be going you know, in the bin as well. So I have two of the Flower Beauty Get Real Serum Concealers. I will say right off the bat, I enjoy the formula. These are lightweight, they are dewy, they are creamy, and they blend out really well, and you can build them up. But for me, I like a light coverage, so I feel like these do a great job. They're at a great price point. The problem is, neither of these shades are good for me. They've never been good for me. So I originally got this one, which is Ivory, which is so, so light. Like, I don't know if you can tell, this is probably, like the lightest color they have. So I went up to fair and it's still too light. We're gonna try this. And if I can't fully make this work, this is the deeper color. It might be time to just let these go and go to a new person. So I'm gonna start off small. Look at that. Do you see how white that is? And like the tone I feel like doesn't look that light. I'm putting the tiniest amount there and a tiny bit on the corners of my eyes. I'm gonna let this warm up on my face a little bit. This is how I do my concealer. I'll you know, run around and do some other things while this warms up. And then I'm just going to pat this in all over to conceal any dark spots or my dark circles. See, that is extremely, extremely light. I think we can make it work, but wow. This brush is great though. It really allows to get like into this corner as you can see and pack it on. I don't know if you can tell how wrinkly this is making my under eyes look. Oh my God, that is so bad. I have very few concealers in my collection, very few. So I think that's why I felt the need to keep this just so I can have like a couple in my arsenal here. But why, why keep it if it, the color doesn't suit me? And honestly, the formula is not even suiting me anymore because my under eyes look so dry and it's creasing. Oh my goodness. This, I can tell you right now, these are definitely gonna go. I feel like I shouldn't spoiler alert that because I usually talk about that at the end. Those are gonna go, honey. No, no, no. I'm so tempted to take it off, but we're gonna keep going. For powder, I don't have a ton at all. I'm just gonna be using one. I know I love this. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. This is in shade two medium, and I'm using the Singe uh, FO4. By the way, these this is not like sponsored by Singe. I'm just using all these because I really wanna keep testing them and see which are my favorites. For this, I'm just gonna press this under the eyes and see if that helps the concealer at all or if it makes me look even cakier because that's what it's doing. It's not the powder, it's this concealer. Oh my God. I'm gonna go ahead and just set like a few areas of my face anyway. I do like this brush. Like I would never normally think of using a flat powder brush. I usually use um, like a dome shape brush, but this is really good for like pressing powder in. Gives it a nice finish. Now I do not have many contour products anymore, but I'm using just this kind of old Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, contour kit. Um, this just is for literally the contour area. This is not bronzing for me. This is just like, I'm not trying to kind of contour this out. And this is, this brush is the F03. And to be fair, I think this is more for cream bronzers, um, but I decided to try it for this to see how it blends out. And it's not bad. It's not bad for this. Now for powder bronzer, we have the F05, and I'm going to be using this one that I have saved a few times. This is by Nabla. This is the Skin Bronzing in Ambra, and it is supposed to have kind of a luminous finish. I'm a little worried that this might be too orangey for me because in addition to buying things that are too light for me, for my base, I also buy orange. Like, do I look orange? Do I look like an orange celebrity? For this, I'm just going to warm up the face. I, I like this color. I think I I don't really have any issues with the color, but like maybe my skin is just really dry today in general because again, for a product that's usually like very luminous, this is called skin glazing. And even in the pan, I feel like you can see some like satin luminosity. I feel like on my skin, everything is showing up very matte and very flat. This is a maybe. Vote down. I'm about to say vote downstairs, vote down below on what you think about this. Do you think this is worth keeping? I don't know. Why am I so torn today? I hope I don't like start hating everything. For blush, I am going to be using one of these Milk Lip and Cheek Tints. This color is Wink, correct? No, it's Work, W-E-R-K. 
and I'm going to be using the Singe F06. I'm a little worried this brush might be, it's meant to be kind of flimsy. I don't know if it's going to be too flimsy for this stick. I might, you know what, I'm going to kind of just paint this directly on and then I'll blend it out with this. I'll do one cheek at a time. I've been putting my blush way up here lately. I've been liking how it's looking and kind of dragging it. So this color is pretty. What I really like about these is that they are very buildable, which I think is really cool. Like you can kind of continuously layer and they don't get too extreme. And also they don't seem to move the makeup underneath, even despite this being like a stick that I'm literally like dragging onto my face. So I'm going a little heavy on the blush right now, but I think it's real cute. What do you think? I mean, can you even see it? Hmm. I feel like this color is pretty universal though. And on top of that, this is definitely a bit luminous, which I appreciate right now because everything else is matte. What do we think? I think this is actually very cute and I appreciate how easy this is to work with. And it's set down already. So it doesn't feel like sticky. It doesn't feel like it's gonna move around. I don't know, right now I like it. It is very natural looking though. This does not look like um, an intense blush. All right, before I move on to my eyes, I'm gonna do one more face thing. And this is my last try with this product. Okay, this is the Lottie Freckle Tint. I have always wanted to try like a freckle pen. And if you have a favorite, recommend it down below, but they sent this over to me and I want to make this work, okay? But I think the shade might unfortunately just be too light for me. So they sent me the shade light, <laughs> but I'm gonna try it and I'm gonna go right over some freckles I already have. I have a lot of freckles. When I was a kid, my uncle's favorite game would be he would come up to me and he'd be like, let's connect the dots because that's a really funny and unique joke, Uncle Fred. I'm putting this on kind of heavy. Like obviously you can see where those are just for now. And I'm going over my freckles. That one looks like a stain. Good job, Linda. This looks oddly symmetrical. And now I'm just gonna gently, this is what I see people do. This is what I see all the cool influencers do. I'm gently just tapping this out just to kind of blend those in a little bit. This one is a little intense looking like not good. <laughs> All right, here's what I've decided. The color I think could be fine. Fake freckles I think are just not for me. I think I can say that. I think I can say fake freckles are just not for me because I've tried several times you guys. And I think it's because I'm just so used to seeing my own freckles. I'm not somebody who has no freckles that like putting fake, one on, fake ones on feels weird. It's like when I straighten my hair that is already poker straight. It feels like why? So anyway, we'll, we'll discuss that more when we come to it, but let's get to the eyes. I'm kind of excited about this one, kind of nervous. Now I will say right now, this palette has been discontinued, okay? If I can find it on a resale site like Mercari or Poshmark, I'm gonna link that for you down below. But this is the Charlotte Tilbury Smoky Eyes Are Forever palette. And this is one that I waffle back and forth on and it is so, so, so lovely, but I do find these colors to be a bit more for somebody who prefers a more natural look. Yes, there are some non-natural shades in here. There's a straight up beautiful matte black and there's some like vibrant punches of shimmer in here. But for the most part, this is not like a bold color story, right? And I think that whenever I've tried this, I expect there to be more color payoff where there isn't. So I wanna to try to make a look out of this. And I wanna to try to make it not necessarily bold, but I want it to be something that's not milk toast. Because guess what? If I don't love this one, it can go to somebody else and that's okay. So first things first, I'm going in with my Singe EO3 and I am going to, do these colors have it? So it's in, it's in quads, if you can see. There's love eyes, power eyes, happy eyes, and confident eyes. I'm going into this lightest shade that they say is used to prime, okay? And I'm going to put this just in the crease. I do see kick up, but like I don't see color. Okay, never mind. Never mind. There's good color payoff. Okay, and my goal is to use colors from at least two of the quads because this is the quad that I've typically dipped into and I wanna try to dip into at least one other, if not two others. This color is pretty though. I went a little heavy on the inner corner, but maybe we'll work with that. So there definitely is color payoff here. Really pretty color payoff actually. This is a nice cool toned taupe brown. And again, my goal is just to make this just a little more bold than, you know, I mean, it's called Smoky Eyes Are Forever, so you would think it would be like kind of dramatic, but it just hasn't been from my experience, so we'll see. I think that looks really nice so far. So what I wanna do is go into this olive green. If you know me at all, you know olive green is one of my favorite colors. I like to apply 
shimmers with my finger. This is such, this is the color that sold me on the palette, if I'm being honest, which is why I wanted to use this one again. I know I should branch out, but I wanted to use this to see if I'm still as in love with it as I was when I got it. So this color, they say that this is too enhanced. I'm tapping off all the excess from my finger. I, I knew there would be a big old chunker on there. And I'm just kind of like pressing this onto the lid. I don't have any glitter glue or anything like that. I just have the primer from my foundation. There is quite a bit of fallout. That could be my fault though, because I think I dug my finger in a little bit hard, but there definitely is fallout there. This is a very pretty color, but as you can see probably, it is a very neutral olive green. It is not a bold olive green, and I like to be able to see those olives, man. Yep, again, I have very significant fallout too. All right, we're gonna ignore that fallout for just a minute, and I'm gonna, you know what? I'm going into the black. I wanna see how this black performs. It looks pretty good. I'm gonna tap it off and we can slowly build up. Uh, this is the Singe E01. And I'm gonna tap this right on this outer corner to see if we can deepen this up. Okay, that is very, very, very like, it is not opaque. So I think I can go in with a bit more of a heavy hand. So I definitely have blacks that are more opaque than this in my collection. This is a very gentle black, should we say? Like I'm loading it on the brush, tapping it like once or twice. And it's still like, it's dark, but it's not as matte as it could be, as dark as it could be. So to blend between the two of those, I'm going back in with my finger again. I'm going in this color right next to it that I have apparently never touched. Great. So they say that's the one to smoke it out. This is a much deeper olive green, like bordering on gold. And I'm just gonna use that right here, just between the black and the olive, to see if I see any difference and if it helps to blend those colors together. So if I hold the mirror right here, I can see a difference. Otherwise, I see no difference between those two colors. And I'm just, I am not thrilled with this right now. <laughs> it's fine, and maybe it'll be better once I have on mascara and all of that. But like, it's just like, the colors are just kind of muddying together. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to like get these to blend some more with my finger, with brushes, with all of that. And all I'm getting is a ton of fallout. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hop off camera real quick and I am going to clean up my under eyes. I'm also going to do my eyebrows because to be honest, I'm not using anything extraordinary, extraordinarily new for that right now. These are things I know I'm keeping. It is the Koki Eyebrow Pencil, the Sigma Tame Tint and Tame Brow Gel. This is just clear. And for my mascara, I'm using the Melt Supernatural Lash, which is one of my absolute favorites. And I think I'll see if I can save this with like black liquid liner. I'll be right back though. We've, 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 got, we've got some talking to do. Wait, I'm just kidding. I wanted to do more to this. Okay, also, I haven't used this in forever and I know I'm keeping it, but I wanna use it anyway. This is the Super Shock Shadow from ColourPop called Like a Moss. This came out with the Raw Beauty Christie collection. Look at how beautiful and shimmery that is. So right now, this is a shimmery shadow and I'm sure you can see like some sparkle, but not much. I'm hoping that this really punches it up. I'm still gonna use this same finger this still feels very creamy. It looks metallic. Let's see. Yeah, that really punched it up. Do you see that? Oh, layered on top, that is really pretty. This has a very gold sparkle to it, which I love. Ooh, I forgot how much I love this color. Okay, that's lovely. Now I'm going to hop off camera and do all those things that I said I was going to do, and I'm going to do them. Okay, all of that is on. I actually think, I don't know, I always think a big like black liner helps to kind of pull looks together a little bit. I am going to use a few more colors from this palette. So first I'm gonna dip again back into that same like taupey brown shade and I wanna put that under my eyes. I do really like this color though, despite the fact that there is quite a bit of fallout. Um, I do like this one. Actually, wait, I lied. This shade did not have fallout. It was the the green shade that did, but I think that kind of helps to ground it a little bit. I'm also gonna take my little baby pinky and dip into this very pretty, very sparkly color. Interesting that they say that this color is used to smoke things out. It's literally a white champagne color. I don't know what your smoky eyes look like, but white champagne, not so much. So I'm just gonna press this on the inner corner. Mm, that's doing like nothing. It's just making a mess, cool. All right, well. There's, there's that palette. Let's 
finish off this look with some lips. So this is something where in my recent lip declutter, I looked at this and I was like, oh, do I want to get rid of one of these? And then I was like, no, I'm not going to because I know I love them and I love the quality. So these are the Odin's Eye and Aniela Knifas from the Halloween collection. There are two matte liquid lips. There are two shine glosses and one glow gloss. The matte liquid lips are what I think I want to try the most. I think I want to try especially, it's kind of deep, but we're going to try it anyway. This color is called Swamp Fog and it is a brown with like a hint of purpliness to it. So I'm going to apply this with no lip liner, which might be a big mistake. Oh, is that too light? You know what? I think this one's going to be too light. Let me look at the other shade. This one is called Shadow Creature. Guys, I just feel like these lip colors aren't the vibe for this. I do still want to use these more in a future video, and maybe I'll use one of these glosses, but as a backup, I also did bring out the Kaleidos Lip Clays. Now I have every shade and I think I wanna use one of these, but rather than opening up every single tube, I'm gonna look and see if I can find the shade I wanna use most. Let's try this color. I don't know if it'll be too light, but this shade is called Pink Himalayan. Oh gosh, it's gonna take me opening all of these to find this shade, isn't it? Nope, I lied. I would like a shade called Pink Moon. Let's figure this out. It. That wasn't too bad. So it's in this little collection set with the uh, apple on front. I love these tins. Let's see this color. Yeah, I think that'll be pretty. Now, if you've never used these, these are kind of a unique formula. They are very moussey and they are completely opaque, but they're not like sharp colors. They're a little bit blurred. Now these kind of set in about 30 seconds after using them. So don't like smack your lips together. Don't put a gloss on top. Don't put mascara on your upper lip. What the heck is that? All right, I wanna use a gloss on this. So these are matte if you leave them just like this and they're a comfortable matte, I will say. I'm going to use one of the ones from the Halloween collection. So this one is called Radioactive and it's a glow gloss. I don't wanna get the uh, applicator all gross. So I'm just gonna use my finger. This gloss is super pretty and it smells really good. Just, it's awesome. All right, okay. It's time time for like the real tea on these things and letting you know what I'm gonna do with them. First of all, here's the final look. I don't think it came out bad at all, but we're gonna talk about each product. So I'm gonna start with the Smashbox Photo Finish. Already let you know, I am keeping this. I love this product. I really think it's good. I do think it does a great job of blurring the skin. I think it's really, really nice. I'm gonna let this go. I'm gonna let this foundation go. So the Anastasia Luminous Foundation, it's not luminous. And I don't know if that's because it's older. I don't know if it's because it's lost its efficacy or what, but it's just not doing it for me anymore. So I'm getting rid of it. There are ones I like much better. So this is gonna go. The concealer's definitely going, okay? Even when I took it off to clean it up, I put this concealer back on. And to be honest, it didn't crease as badly but it's still not my color, neither of these. So I think the formula is usually nice. I don't know why it creased so bad the first time around and then there's like very little to no creasing now, but still the formula I usually like. These colors, no. For bronzer, um, I wanna give this another shot. I wanna give this another shot when my foundation is behaving because this normally does, like even in the camera, you can see this is normally very luminous and I don't know why it wasn't showing up as such. Again, this is the Nabla Skin, I think I said Skin Glazing. This is the Skin Bronzing uh, Powder in Ambra and it's always had a nice luminous finish for me and it just didn't today. So I'm gonna keep this, I wanna try it again. The Milk Makeup Stick, um, Mm, it's very, very, very pretty. I'm trying to just, I'm gonna keep it again. I'm gonna keep it around for a little bit. It is not my favorite cream blush I've ever tried though. I will say that I have other cream blushes I like way more, but I think that this is still really cute and convenient for on the go. So I'm gonna keep this around. The freckle, the freckle pen's gonna go. The freckle tint is gonna go. I can see them. Like this one just looks like a stain. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's just because I already have natural freckles. So I'm not even necessarily saying anything bad about the product. I think it's actually a decent product. I think it's a little wet for what it should be, but I think it's a decent product, but I'm gonna let this one go to a better home. So, so far, like guys, I'm getting rid of four products so far, four. So the Charlotte Tilbury Smoky Eyes are Forever palette. Guys, this is really hard. I'm gonna let it go. 
I'm going to let it go. One of the big reasons I waffled on this for so long is because this was an expensive, expensive palette. And I was lucky enough to be gifted this expensive palette by a friend. So I hope if that friend is watching, you know who you are. Please don't be upset that I'm getting rid of this, but I just think it can go to a better home. I think I prefer just more bold looks. Um, if I'm going to have these bright shimmers, like I need something a little more bold. And this is pretty, but it's just a little too neutral for me. And also there was a lot of fallout. I saved the box, so this is going right back in its box, and I really hope this one finds a better home with one of my friends. I know it will. I am absolutely keeping, though, the Raw Beauty Christie ColourPop um, Super Shock Shadow. Again, this is in Leica Moss. I feel like that is one of the things that saved the look because that's what made it metallic. Before that, it just wasn't metallic, so I'm keeping it. The Halloween products, I need to use these more. I need to figure out if these are my colors or not because the thing is, I feel like what I did today is what I do a lot of the time where I hold it up and I go, no, that's not the right color for this look and I put it away. But if it's not the right color for every look for me, then maybe it's time to give it to somebody else. But this gloss, you can pry it out of my cold dead hands, okay? Like I want 18 backups of this gloss. It's very comfortable very bold. I really like it. I don't know why I said bold. It's a clear freaking gloss, but I like it. <laughs> and I'm really liking this lip color. This is Pink Moon again by Kaleidos. So I'm glad. I want to use these Kaleidos lip clays more. And I do realize that I like these better with a gloss on top because it takes away that like blurred velvet effect. I don't know. I'm digging it. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below what you think. I'm actually surprised because usually in these use it or lose it videos, I wind up getting rid of nothing. If we're being honest, I don't get rid of anything or maybe there's like one product I get rid of. I'm getting rid of a bunch, like probably 50% of what I use I'm getting rid of today. So I'm pretty happy about that. It might sound weird to be like disappointed by products, but the thing is, these products at one time were really great for me. They're just not now. So normalize changing your opinion because it's okay. Sometimes something works great at one point and not so much at another point, and that's totally fine. So these will get new love and new life with somebody else, and I'm really excited about that. But if you like this video, if you like this concept, I would love if you give it a thumbs up. That really helps out my channel, and it lets me know you want to see more of these. You all can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Those are all glitter fallout. Now with sassy shoulder movements. Oh, as always and forever, you guys are super freaking rock stars, and I love you so much with my whole heart, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.